And the first thing, the first topic I'd like to talk about is your profile photo on LinkedIn. This is a lovely topic and one that I love talking to people about because I get so many questions on this topic and there is so much fear around it. There are four screenshots of profiles and I'd like to discuss each one of them in turn. Firstly, to say that whatever picture is taken of you, that is how you look to the rest of the world. So what I say to people normally, and I don't want to be offensive, but if you don't like being on camera or your photograph taken, please get over it because that's how you look to us. So please get rid of those fears, get onto camera nice and proud. The first profile that you can see is one where there isn't a profile picture, right? That obviously is not advisable. It is not correct that if you decide to be on a social network that you don't have a profile photo and there are still far too many people who do this. So please make sure you have one to begin with. The second one on the right, somebody who's connected to me has a picture with the ex Prime Minister David Cameron who has long gone from the cabinet, from the government. He's no longer an MP anymore. He's just a regular business person now trying to make a living. Now, I know he was famous at one time, but do you really need him on your profile picture? And what if other people that want to connect with you don't like the Conservative Party or even David Cameron? That might have some impact in terms of getting people to connect with you. Please only have yourself in that picture, nobody else. The third one on the left is obviously somebody who loves doing speaking and she's probably really good at it, but I can't see what she looks like. She's so far in the distance. I can't see her eyes. I can't see her smile. I can't connect with her. Now she has a banner picture above or behind her profile which is her with a microphone in a dress or a top. And I can't even see her head either there. So the whole thing just doesn't work. And the fourth one, of course, is me, which is an example of how it should be. And it doesn't have to be black and white. Color is fine. I just choose to do black and white because it stands out a little bit in terms of seeing it on news feeds and things and I've I've practiced with many different versions and I decided to go black and white but I'm not saying that that is essential or even necessary but it is important to have a head and shoulders looking at the camera smiling showing a little bit of teeth there's some research out on that and when I changed this profile photo which I did actually before Christmas because I knew LinkedIn were coming out with a new profile and therefore user interface. And I said, OK, time to update my profile photo. It was quite old anyway, far too old for being there. And immediately I started getting responses from people saying, your profile photo is so friendly. Is this a new photo? I said, yes, it is. So it is important to be looking at the camera, smiling, you know, just making sure that people can connect with you. Okay, so next subject to cover is your headline. Now, not a lot of people know what this is. And your headline is the, there's 120 characters worth of space available to you underneath your name, which is your headline. Now, LinkedIn automatically populates this when you start adding experience on your profile. So if your last item on your experience says bottle washer or sales director, that is what's going to appear in your headline. But you can go in then and amend it. And as you can see here, the two on the left says who they are and who they work for. So in the case of Robert Clark, and I'm sorry that I'm 
revealing these people's details, but it's the only way to demonstrate what's going on. So Robert, independent financial advisor, right? First of all, he shouldn't have his title with his name, right? That is no good when people are looking to search for Robert Clark in search because he's got this thing behind him. LinkedIn will probably find him, but that's just him trying to get SEO search enabled on his profile. But there's nothing wrong with that, but you can do that in different ways. Then he's got director at Newstead Clark Financial Services Limited. It tells me nothing apart from the company that he works for and that he's a director. With Gary, bottom left, he just says sales director. Again, it tells me nothing. It tells me there is a the company underneath, Anderman Ceramics, that's who he is working for, but it doesn't tell me what he can do for me. So I'm not in the world of ceramics, but if I was, why would I want to speak to Gary? Right, it tells me sales director, but what is it about the company that would attract me? So the two on the right then, Bryn Tillman, who's a colleague of mine in America, she's telling me what she does for people. She's telling them that you should be transforming the way professionals grow their business by leveraging LinkedIn and social selling. I'm saying, share your story, learn to become a better storyteller on LinkedIn. I've recently changed that and I will continually look and experiment different ways of changing my headline. But it's important that you use the 120 characters that are there and write a little bit about what it is that you can do for people, whether it's in your own business or you're working for somebody about the rest of the business, you need to be sharing what it is that you can do for people. And we'll have a look at these profiles in a bit more detail in a sec. Now, this is where the meat is, and that is your summary. This is probably the most important section. I mean, Profile photo was also really important. And let's go and look at some of these people. The first one is Gary. So Gary, this is Gary's profile. I'm not connected to Gary. So Gary, I'm sorry, I'm not having a go. I'm just using your profile to demonstrate a few things. And we're going to have a look at his summary. So we've already talked about, well, let's talk about his picture because we didn't talk about his. It's a nice picture. I can see him, but he's not looking at me. I can't connect to him. It's the right size and he's got a head and shoulder shot. But why is he not looking at me? It just shows me him being very thoughtful and considerate and having a think about things. But it does, I can't connect with him. I can't see his face. Right. Or see his eyes, I should say. So here, he's actually doing a bit of promotion about the company, about himself, and a little bit about the industry and how he's motivated by it. There is nothing wrong with this summary, by the way. He's, he's kind of done it in the right way. He's done a few paragraphs, a little bit of white space, and at least he's talking in the first person. He's talking about, I'm thriving in a challenging but demanding position in a dynamic and innovative organization that has an aggressive growth strategy, blah, blah, blah. I'm already bored, right? So because what people do is they go into corporate speak, which actually is really boring. Um, people don't want to know about that. You need to be speaking to people let them know what you're passionate about in the business that you're working. He does some of that. He does do some of that, but he's still not being different enough. In my, in my, in my book, he is still, you know, being quite dry about it. There needs to be more, more going on. So let's have a look at another one. Let's have a look at Roberts. We already talked, by the way, his photograph is dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. I couldn't have, now, 
and I, and I don't want to be saying well, a stereotypical financial person because I don't believe that. People do want to be more inspiring and it starts with your photograph. It really does. Um, again, in exactly the same way, he is just writing a promotion, an advert for his business or for the business that he works for. And the good thing that he has is he talks about specialities. Now, that is quite useful, very useful to put that in for search or for SEO, search engine optimization. It's very, very relevant to have that there. But again, this is very boring. It should not be written. OK, you can say thank you for viewing my profile, talks a little bit about the company and it's all about we, except for when it comes to to my aim. So he's talking about the broad company. He should be talking about himself. What is it, Robert, about you that you can do for me? Something that is significant, that isn't so dry, that should be getting me excited about wanting to have a meeting with you as financial advisor. But at the moment, don't want to. I really don't want to meet with you. So the next one is Bryn. Let's have a look at Bryn's. Bryn is somebody I work with in America. And if we look at her profile, um, she now is talking a lot more about what it is that she can do for you, why she should, why things have changed, um, talking about the buyer's journey, talking about some strategies that you need to be employing. So she's actually giving value away right from the outset. And of course, she's doing her promo right at the end. If you're in need of leveraging LinkedIn for sales, I invite you to have a conversation and then her details at the end of it. And then she has some media towards the end as well. So you can look at some media. So it makes it a little bit more interactive as well. And it is better. It could be even better. It really could. And who's next? Me, of course. Now, mine is very different compared to most people. And I've done that on purpose. So what I've done to begin with is really, really talk to the individual who's looking at my profile. So I'm saying thank you so much for stopping by. First of all, say hello. And actually the word hello, when you look at the mobile app, that's the only thing you can see in my summary. You have to actually tap on that to see the rest of it. But immediately it says hello. Thank you for stopping by, scanning my profile. It just took you six seconds to make up your mind about me. You're such a fast thinker. If you stop by and then it, and then I talk a little, I talk at the individual. And then I tell them a little bit about why we love stories. So, and then I give some suggestions as well. And then I say, I appreciate your connection. And then I ask them to do something which they may wish to do, which is to book a discovery call with me, follow me on Instagram, then check out my podcast. And then I've got a long list of specialities at the end, which helps people to get a feel for the areas that I'm actually working in and what I have experience in. And those things that will be on my skills much further down because we can't... Um, change them. So they will be there anyway. But if they don't even get that far, because people will talk about or read your name, they look at your photograph, your name, your headline, and then your summary. And the summary is where the meat is. That's where they spent most of their time and they probably won't go any further. So it will be really worthwhile for you to spend your time, take out either Word or pages or notes or 
some app that you're using to write and start writing your summary as if you're speaking to the person opposite you. I've heard stories when people really get this. I've had stories back from people that I've trained that when they change their profile in that way, they've managed to get jobs. They've managed to get noticed uh, by their by their colleagues, by other employers, by their contacts. Immediately, it becomes very personal and people start to connect with you. So and it's a really, really quick way <laughs> of telling you, you know, how to change a summary. But I can't tell you exactly what to write. All I can tell you is that you need to be sharing it in. And we'll probably cover this in future webinars that we'll talk about how you can craft a story on LinkedIn, which I might well do. I haven't thought through exactly how I'm going to what content I'm going to deliver at each one. I'll, I'll you know, think that through before I deliver it. But the, the most important thing that you need to be spending time on is your summary. You know, you've done the photograph. Great. You've done your name. You've done your headline. The summary is the most important part. And by the way, it should change. You know, every three to six months, your summary should change. I change mine in December and it was probably the same for about four or five months. And then I decided I wanted to change it. So because things move on, you can think of different ideas to add to it, things that have happened in your career, in your business, new testimonials, recommendations you've received. So it, it's always it's always a good idea to keep to keep on top of it. So those three things is all I'm really going to talk about today. It's your photograph, your headline and your summary. Because if I give you too many things now, you're going to get distracted. These are the most important things. Even if you didn't focus on anything else on your profile, these, these three are the most important. 